Travis and Cole are here from Nashville. You guys are both songwriters, performers. I know you guys are uh, performing tonight, is yes, it? Yes, sir. Yep. At the uh, Carson Valley Inn. So, uh -huh. so how did you get started? Um, when I was 10 years old, I knew I wanted to play guitar. And so uh, I got Santa brought me my first guitar. <laughs> and um, that was my first love. And then um, kind of when I got into high school, I started to fall in love with songs, fell in love with country music. And uh, did yeah. you always listen to country music, though? You know, up? I really didn't. Honestly, high school was when I got into country music for a whole lot of reasons. And I think it was because when I started to write, everything was coming out a little country, a little, you know, twangy. And then also, uh, pretty girls don't like rock and roll. They like country music. <laughs> so right? maybe the 16-year-old guy in me was like, maybe I should go country. But And, and, and you, Cole, you, you started singing in church. Yeah, I started singing in church. I mean, just to, like, karaoke tracks. I didn't know how to play guitar, but... Um, and then kind of took it to college and kind of the same thing. I figured out girls wanted to sing the songs back to you and I wanted to be the one that was writing those songs. Hey man, a girl can motivate a man. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> These guys both <laughs> at the same time. So you guys have both written songs for, for some big acts. Yes, sir. And and has that been? You guys making money from it? Is it is it paid well? He he's he's definitely been making. It's yeah, good. is it working? I mean, yeah. that's you know that's what people are thinking. I mean, you know. Yeah, I finally got to call my mom and dad and be like. I'm good. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing don't, all don't, right. don't send I'm any good. more yeah. checks. If we're good. Yeah. I'm doing all right. That's so, um, fantastic. Yeah. And then, are you guys performing together? Oh uh, yes, sir. Yeah. We're gonna do kind of the Nashville kind of songwriters round kind of thing, which kind is of a, covers. That, is well, well, it's it's just a, a kind of one of the main traditions of like per, performing songwriters in Nashville is where they all play at the same time. And go in a circle and going around, and right. it's a lot more fun and social that way. Tell the stories behind the songs right. and kind of. Yeah, there's a who, deep, who recorded deep rooted it. history there in Nashville. And you guys are living in Nashville mm -hmm. now? You guys are both from Georgia. Yes. Different yes, parts of Georgia, right. but. And then you guys met in Nashville, I assume. We, we met in Georgia, actually, mm -hmm. play and just kind of play in the college bar circuit stuff, you know, and. I mean, the, the Georgia country music thing is, is, is big and there's a lot of history, but it's, it's really quite small as far as the shows you play, so we, we just met each other in passing. And, and how is it in Nashville? I mean, is it just, I would imagine it's just cutthroat. There must be just, there must be thousands, t millions of guys like yourself that are coming there trying to write songs, trying to perform, trying to make it make it work. Yeah, it is, but I think like with, it, with us, we're just like a big fraternity kind of thing. We mm -hmm. have our group of guys that if somebody does something, we're happy for them, and we want to go do the same thing. You right. know, it's like, it's competitive. It's like brothers, kind of almost. You want, mm -hmm. like, you want your brother to do good, but you also want to beat him. Sometimes. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like MMA or something. Right, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tonight, you guys. What time are you guys performing? You know, seven thirty. Uh -huh. uh, tickets are nineteen bucks. You can get them in the hotel lobby, or just go right up to the door and, and get them there. All right, and you're you're playing you're playing guitar. I'm gonna play guitar. He's playing guitar. Play guitar. You're working on some songs right now. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna stick to the the, the cuts that I had this year, and uh, but then who knows? I mean, there's a lot of TBD and TBA kind of going on. Depends on if they have any drinks. That's true. Yeah. It, if a, if a cold beer comes our way, we might play a new song or uh -huh. whatever. All right. Yeah. <laughs> how's, how's that work for writing a song? I mean, are you just sitting around like right now and go, oh, that's a somebody says something, it cues something in you, or Absolutely. you have yeah. an experience with a girl? That's the classic oh, one, yeah. right? Well, we keep a, like a list of stuff in our phones, like in our notes, and. Once we think of something, and then we'll get into our writing appointments, and be like, man, I thought of this. What, what, what are writing that. appointments? Like we, our publisher, we have people that keep our calendar, and like say it's like Travis and I are like every other Monday at eleven o'clock, and it's like, yeah, okay, yeah. and just try and get right. The but the inspiration get, comes when we put it in our list, and we go yeah. back to that moment, kind of. Like uh -huh. last night. I'm always curious as yeah. to how like songs right. really Absolutely. get written. Right. You know, I mean, it's well, I'll tell you exactly how they get written. I mean, we sat at the blackjack table last night for maybe two and a half hours, <laughs> and there was like two times where just in conversation, someone says something, and I look at him and go, "Okay, we got to write that or whatever." Right. And I think, I think that comes from a lot of, uh, I mean, just a lot of like falling in love and being obsessed with songs. I think you just always try and think about. What's that next thing you can write? Yeah, it, it, it's really, it, I'm always fascinated with it because it's such a creative thing. Who, who did you grow up admiring? And, and did you grow up, I mean, it, you say you didn't really grow up right. listening to country music at first. Well, who for you me, admire? Uh, hands down, the pinnacle for me was the Allman Brothers Band because I grew up in middle Georgia. So I grew up 20 minutes from Macon. And hands down, I mean, the history is still in the air there with, with the Allman Brothers. Um, 
And what they did was all the musical things I loved about them, th there were still songs at the core of it. A and to me, Greg Allman, I, he's my favorite singer of all time. I mean, he's he's gone through it all, and he still can get up there and, and just kill it. So from there, I, then I fell in love sure. with country, but it always comes back to them. How about you, Cole? Man, I think for me it was Garth, just the way he could capture a crowd through his lyrics and through yeah. his live show. It's kind of... I remember having the double live album and just listening to it and hearing people just scream the words back at him and it's like, that's the guy I want to be, to be able to touch that many people through music and through their songs. We'll have a great trip here. Thanks for coming Absolutely. all the way from Nashville. Absolutely. Thank you for yes, having us. And enjoy, enjoy all this snow, man. Oh, I mean, yeah. What do you Absolutely. think of being from Georgia, seeing all this snow? This will change the scene a little bit. But, <laughs> but hey, we're it's getting a good mountain to town. I think there's a cold beer waiting on us somewhere. Watch, so we're watch, going. Those, <laughs> watch those boots, man. <laughs> those are not boots? good snow boots. No, these are not. <laughs> you need some traction on the bottom. Yep. Maybe we could put before you, we put some siping on the bottom for yeah. you. Help, yeah. help you get some, some traction. Some chains. we get some chains in. Well, great great to meet both of you guys. Good luck tonight. Yes, sir. Yeah. At the Carson Valley Inn tonight show starts at 7 o'clock. 7.30. 7.30. Get there at 7. We'll be back after this. Stay with us.